Welcome to Discover Talent, friends. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to cover how to create a attrition tracker, right, for our uh, daily routine, correct? Uh, if you are uh, working as a data analyst, you know, uh, maybe in a financial, you are working, or maybe you are on a PMO role, you need to have some, you know, uh, tracker in place, right, and you need to maintain that on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, correct, or maybe weekly basis. So, how we can create that? Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to cover that part. So this is the template I have and uh, basically I have created, right? And I don't want to waste much time on it because, you know, I completely agree uh, your business schedule, right, as a viewer. So what I will do, I'll explain the each columns to you and I'll give you the overall idea what exactly and how it looks like the, you know, uh, attrition template. So you can easily share it across your boss, correct? So employee ID, while we are adding the employee ID, we need to ensure that, you know, a uh, couple of IDs, if you can see this duplicate IDs, right, it's in dummy data again, a couple of IDs have some uh, numeric digits, right, seven digits, or maybe six digits, they need to, anyhow, they need to add it. So what I have did in this particular column, I have removed this, okay. Suppose I need to add one, two, three, four, okay. It will give me the pop-up. What is the pop-up? Well, it doesn't match. Okay, so I'll retry again. Okay, now it's giving me a notification. Employee ID add seven digits or maybe eight digits. I can do it. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, add this. Okay. Now it's accepting my request. Likewise, you can do for the your uh, particular company as well, right? What you need to do is select this particular range first, go into the data, and then there is an option called data validation. Okay, first select here, data validation, click here, okay. You can see, uh, you need to select the text length, then minimum, minimum at least, you know, you need to add seven digits and maximum eight digits, so it will get accepted. Otherwise, it will give you the pop-up like this, okay. Or maybe you can add external pop-up as well, like this, okay. If I suppose add like this, give you the pop-up, something like that. So you can give me the, you know, basically create a, uh, adding a validation rule, you can create a pop-up, something like that, okay? Now, MTD, basically month-wise, okay? I want to showcase this particular attrition report uh, month-wise. You can create a weekly as well if the attrition rate is high for your respective uh, companies or maybe you're working wherever company it is, okay? And you need to create for a weekly, you can create that as well. Uh, but the possibility is that, you know, mostly, you know, we create this report on a monthly basis, okay? So just add Jan, Feb, okay, and then once you add the Jan and Feb data, you can just select over here and then just try it back. You can automatically it. I think so far we are clear, right? B and column C, correct? Now opening balance. So what does that mean? Opening balance. Okay, I clearly, clearly know, right? You know, everybody is uh, understand, right? How many uh, opening, you know, agents we have hired for this particular company, right? So now, uh, if I say 27, I need to change this, correct? Uh, again, it's in a dummy, dummy uh, data, you know, guys. So you can change it to your code. So it's in the learning purpose, I'm just adding it, 63, and then this is the thing. So how it's, you know, completely changed and what exactly went somewhere, I'm, right? So I'll give it to you a quick glance over here. Uh, now, if I can see, well, I'll add. Opening balance for the month of January, okay. I have 12 agents added and total three employees were joined, okay, out of 12. And then, how many employees left? Nobody left, okay. So, and the reason it's a non voluntary, it's not the really perfect reason. So, you can add a not applicable, you can do that as well, not applicable, correct. And this, you can just select this again. Create gold data validation and then setting list over here and then select the range again. Not applicable as well. Perfect. You can see that not applicable. Okay. 
you can likewise add the because why I am selecting the not applicable because the uh, zero employees left from that particular organization. So that's the reason it's uh, not applicable. Correct. Now closing balance. Closing balance means uh, how many join and how many opening balance were there. So I what I will do, you know, uh, I will plus these two. So plus means completely. I mean I'll add those. Okay. So basically it's a fifty and attrition percentage is zero. Okay. You can see the formulas over here as well. Okay. For the attrition, what I have did uh, employees left. How many employees has been left from this particular organization? So these are the employer details I have added. And I have freeze this particular uh, average attrition percentage for the year. So overall, we need to calculate this average attrition percentage. Okay, and now here closing balance. Again, I will show you the formula. What I have did opening balance. Okay, plus employees joined. How many employees been joined? And then minus employees left. How many employees uh, left for that particular organization? The overall calculation in the closing balance. Now, if we have the closing balance like 15, okay, that's supposed to be the uh, overall count for the next month. So, meaning, meaning what we need to do, we need to select the is equal to sign, okay, and then we need to add formula like this. So, consecutively, so whatever opening balance, if you can see for the month of March, it is the end of the fail. Okay, so if you can see these details and these details will match. Perfect. Okay, so there is a, no confusion so far, right? So here is the sweet and quick calculation from my end uh, for the attrition report. Now I'll give you the quick glance uh, on the you know how we can you know calculate the average percentage uh, for the attrition. Okay, but prior move on that particular important part. Uh, I'll give you the quick reasons. Okay, uh, meaning of this particular tabs. Okay. So basically voluntary. So if the employee voluntary wish to you know uh, move or maybe you know leave the organization, we can add this comment. Okay. Internal movement. If uh, internal management is you know moving that particular employee, he or she uh, for his career choice, maybe career growth, right? So for that reason, we can add as an internal movement. Non voluntary. Uh, if his performance, his or her performance is not really good. Okay, and the management intentionally. Putting them um, in the, so maybe you know, asking them to you know resign from the organization. So that is the reason that time we can add as a non volunteer. Okay, there would be a multiple reasons. Okay, but I you know uh, recall this top four I can say because blank is there again. Okay, this four and then it's a blank the five total five I can say yeah blank including because I'm selecting blank as well so that means I have a blank. Uh, internal movement not applicable, voluntary not voluntary. Okay, so uh, if you may ask, right, uh, or maybe why employee get attract? Okay, so attract basically why they are leaving from the organization. Right? Uh, the meaning basically there will be a lack of growth opportunities in the company. Right, if they have you know good skills and they are not getting the matching profile, then they leave. They are not getting enough salary. Uh, you know, work life balance is not there. Okay. Uh, they have some leaves issue, okay. So uh, maybe team members are not really supportive. Uh, learning growth opportunities are not there. So there are numerous uh, reasons, you know, uh, for the organization. And uh, there is a management is coming to the picture, okay. And they try to retain them, okay. And again, for retention as well, we have some other calculation methodology, folks. So I can create those video as well in upcoming series. Uh, I would request you, you know. Watch this entire series and uh, feel free to comment in the below section. And uh, if you want to check that retention uh, calculation as well from my end on Discover Talent, okay, uh, and so we can give it to you. Okay, coming on to the point now, how to calculate average percentage? Okay, uh, total number of employees. So I have did uh, the calculation overall. How many closing uh, balance is there? Correct. Okay. So overall, how many employees are there? Uh, for the overall year, so I have calculated that, and then uh, total number of employees left from the organization overall year. Okay, and then that particular overall year, I have this calculation methodology uh, which I have did and I written over here as well. Okay, based on that, you can calculate this percentage. Okay, so if you are sharing this data across with the HR or maybe HR is presenting to the leadership, so HR can you know uh, get these details and. Uh, if they, any HR, you know, reviewing this particular video, they, they can, you know, 
directly give it to the bosses stating that you know hey uh, average attrition rate is for so and so for the year so similar way and the logos if you want to add you can know what you can do uh, go here in the illustration icon uh, there is an option called uh, icons itself okay you can add here as well multiple logos are there you can add any logos as per your company's logo or maybe you can add your own too because ultimately you are creating your own tracker right? so you can add your own tracker logo too and then just add it once you add it you will see like this let's change the color okay small just small okay just put it over here somewhere down the line just copy and paste it why i'm not recommending any search engine because uh, there might be an a copyright issue right so uh, microsoft giving us an uh, amazing features right and uh, we have multiple options in the microsoft itself so why don't we use it right and so this is the fields basically and you know quote unquote these are the requirements uh, when you when we apply for the any kind of a company and uh, as a data analyst okay uh as a reporting part right we need to ensure that we are maintaining this particular tracker right and we are giving uh giving it across with our leadership or maybe client right so i hope you found this useful folks and don't forget to subscribe this uh, channel because you know uh, in the upcoming video series i am going to create one more video uh, if you want that video so please comment on this particular channel so i can help you out thanks for watching have a great day have a great night